Archaeologists in Magburg, Germany are preparing to unveil a stone tomb that has remained undisturbed for 500 years within the city's cathedral. Their hope is that this monument will contain the remains of Edith of England, who reigned as Queen of Germany over 1,000 years ago. While there is a strong possibility that this ancient grave may be empty, the surprises that await the researchers upon opening the lead coffin are astonishing. Edith, or Egypt in Old English, was a prominent figure who began her rule of Germany in 936. She belonged to a lineage of notable individuals, being one of eight children born to Edward and Alfred. Among her siblings were Aegifu, who married the King of West Francia Charles the Simple and Ithold, who eventually wed the Duke of the Franks, Hugh the Great. Unfortunately, Edith's parents divorced when she was only nine or ten years old. Afterward, she joined her mother, who is said to have been sent to a monastery, possibly in Salisbury or Winchester. Edith's royal lineage boasted a rich history, stretching back to one Serdic of Wessex, who was among the leaders of the Anglo-Saxon conquest of England. Interestingly, even Britain's current monarch, Elizabeth II, can trace her ancestry back to the same ancient ruler. Edith's maternal grandfather, Alfred the Great, ruled the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of Wessex from 871 to 886, expanding its influence across England and fighting off Viking attacks. During her childhood, England was still in the process of becoming a unified nation under her father's rule. By the time Edith was born in 910, her father, Edward, had already ruled for 11 years with the creation of a united England, still an ongoing project. However, progress was made during her early years as Edward successfully gained control of most of England, leaving only Northumbria under Viking influence. In 924, Edith's half-brother Athelstan ascended to the English throne after Edward's death, further shaping the events that would impact Edith's life. Henry the Fowler, King of the East Franks, sought to unite his kingdom with the English crown and proposed a union between his eldest son, Otto, and one of Athelstan's half-sisters. Edith and her sister, Ejiva, traveled to East Francia to meet Otto, who would potentially become their husband. Otto chose Edith, and they were married in 930. Henry's successors continued his work of uniting Germany, and Otto became known as Otto the Great. However, Edith passed away in 946 at the age of 30, 16 years before Otto assumed the position of Holy Roman Emperor. Not much is known about Edith's time as the Queen of Germany, but she was reportedly active in charitable works, supporting various religious institutions. During her reign, she gave birth to two children, a son named Lytle, born in 930, and a daughter named Lydgerd, born in 932. Sadly, both children died at young ages. Initially, Edith was interred at the Benedictine Monastery of St. Maurice, which she and Otto founded in Magburg in 937. The monastery was named after St. Maurice, an Egyptian Christian who served in the Roman army during the third century. Eventually, her remains were moved multiple times until they were reinterred at Magburg Cathedral in 1510, where they remained undisturbed for 500 years. In 2008, German archaeologists embarked on the task of opening Edith's tomb, expecting it to be empty. However, to their surprise, the stone sarcophagus revealed a lead coffin with a Latin inscription on its lid, stating that the remains of Queen Edith were within. When the archaeologists opened the coffin, they discovered remarkably well-preserved human remains, wrapped in a shroud made of fine silk. In a 2010 article for The Guardian, historian and author Michael Wood provided insights into the findings of the researchers who examined the coffin discovered beneath the crumpled folds. Wood described the contents as a small, slim frame figure slightly bent at the knees, resembling a peacefully sleeping child. However, these observations alone did not definitively prove that the remains belonged to Edith. Professor Harold Miller, the project director from the German Saxony Anhalt Heritage Management and Archaeology State Office, acknowledged the uncertainties surrounding such archaeological discoveries. 
He highlighted the challenges of confirming the identity of ancient bones, as medieval remains were often moved and mixed up. Miller emphasized the need for exceptional scientific analysis to establish a connection to Edith. To determine the identity of the bones, the remains were sent to the University of Mainz in Germany, where Professor Kurt Alt conducted an examination. Alt conclusively stated that the bones belonged to a female who had died between the ages of 30 and 40. Further analysis indicated that the woman likely belonged to the upper echelons of society, potentially matching Edith's status. It is important to note that the skeleton from the Magburg lead coffin was incomplete, with missing bones from the feet, hands, and a significant portion of the skull. This could be attributed to the medieval practice of removing and using bones as relics. Despite the incomplete remains, further analysis was warranted. The bones were then transported to the University of Bristol in England for in-depth analysis. The university housed experts and the necessary equipment to conduct the examination. Initial carbon dating produced a result two centuries older than expected for Edith's time, creating uncertainty. However, fabric found in the coffin suggested a date corresponding to Edith's reign. Efforts to extract DNA from the bones failed due to their poor preservation. Scientists turned to advanced analysis of the teeth found in the coffin, focusing on the isotopes of oxygen and strontium. These isotopes vary depending on the geographical location where an individual lived. The teeth analysis indicated that the person had grown up in the chalklands of southern England, specifically the Wessex region. This aligned with Edith's known childhood in Wessex. Comparing the isotopes from the teeth to those of graves around Magburg, Karina Nipper, a member of Professor Alt's research staff, found significant differences. The isotopes in the teeth purported to be Edith's were inconsistent with the local population, suggesting that she did not spend her childhood in Magburg. This finding supported historical knowledge of Edith's nomadic childhood as she followed her father, King Edward the Elder, during his reign. The researchers also provided explanations for the discrepancies in radiocarbon dating. Edith's protein-rich diet as a child could have affected the accuracy of carbon dating techniques. Additionally, the absence of grave goods in the alleged tomb was unusual for Christian burials of that era. However, the high-quality silk and dyes used for the shroud further suggested an aristocratic burial. In summary, the analysis and research strongly indicated that the mortal remains discovered in the Magburg Cathedral indeed belonged to Edith of England, Queen of the East Franks. After more than a millennium, Edith's bones were returned to her adopted home in Magburg and reinterred in a titanium coffin in October 2010. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.